All right, everybody. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm back. It's been a few days since I recorded a video. Um, gonna start uploading in like on November first. So I mean, it's uh, currently Halloween at the moment. So <clears throat> yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, guys. This was some dialogue that was left out before and I started the game and here it is now. So let's go. Also, hold on. <coughs> <coughs> I am sick. Um, I think I was sick the last time I recorded or something. I don't know, but my voice sounds weird and I'm very well aware. Okay. Tonight's the night, Ramsey. It's finally the full moon. All our work is going to pay off. And then we're out of here. Here, let me write some invitations real quick. You grab some paper and a pen. Dear resident of Flora, meet me tonight at the festival grounds. Sincerely, your village witch, Noria Von Tessel. Easel, my bad. That should do the trick, Ramsey. I need to deliver all of these to everyone today. Make sure they get them. I can't wait. Um, it's... It'll be on to bigger and better things. We finally be able to rest. Soon it'll just be me and my experiments. Um. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I want to be able to rest. I know just the tree I'll sleep under when we get home. I'm going to finish up around here. I'll meet you in the village later tonight under the full moon. Okay. Okay, so there's no mail. Okay, so can we garden though? Okay. Also, sorry everybody, I have a cough drop in my mouth, just so I don't, like, aggressively cough. Because I know that's obnoxious, but it's probably also obnoxious hearing me with a cough drop, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Well, what can't, what, you know, what do you do? Alright, get rid of these weeds. Oh, I don't even know if we watered these. Okay, apparently we did. Okay, I'm crazy. Let's grab these weeds real quick. I think flower, like I do not like flowers at all, but I think flowers are pretty, but like, I just don't like them. I like dead flowers. Like, y'all, I have this bouquet of flowers. I don't know why my doggy just did that, but whatever. Anyways. I have this bouquet of flowers that my boyfriend got me literally over a year ago and I have them I let them dry out and um they're hanging upside down on my wall they're so beautiful they're roses and they're dead so pretty y'all are probably like what the hell but yeah I mean and I'm also the type of like I love it when people like put oh uh, what's it called like uh they put like a flower or a leaf in like a in like a book or like a page and it um rise up I don't know, it's just really beautiful to me. Um, home, I guess. I mean we ain't got no mail. Huh, it's tree time? Okay, okay. You can have a tree. <clears throat> no, that's enough for today. Gran says too many trees are bad for your beach. Okay. So what do we do? Village. You arrive at the festival ground. The full moon shines brightly in the clear sky. Look, everyone's here already. This is gonna go off without a hitch. <clears throat> Time to get myself together. You walk over to everyone. Oh, a ritual. A oh, lovely. I should be baking. I'm tired. It is pretty late. The studio is still such a mess. Everything will be fine, perfectly fine. Hmm. <clears throat> See, Nori is here now. Thank you, Ruth. Welcome to the ritual. Alright, let's get this done. Greetings, friends. Greetings, friends. And thank you for joining me. I will solve all your problems with a full moon ritual tonight. Alright, let's get this show on the road then. Ramsley, get into place. Take a deep breath. Oh, full moon. With your bright shining light, lend us your power on this very night. Provide a clear path for us to walk. A way to a successful festival completely unblocked. We've worked hard. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm improvising. 
We've worked this week to fix what was broken, so please acknowledge our devotion. Ritual is complete. You relax your body and take another deep breath. All right, I think we're good. Everyone feel better now? I feel full of... Yuck. We need to get home. Uh, oh. Wait. Maybe it'll just take more time to work? That's right. It might take some time to work. You can't rush magic. But isn't that what you're trying to do? I knew this would happen. I knew we couldn't trust you. Nisha. No, I read that letter. I know the truth. Nora has been messing with us this entire time, just like they did with Coven Politan. But I haven't been able to get my work done. Mel, there's something you really should know. Oh no, Nisha's gonna tell. Your beloved Avan Elset from Coven Politan is Noria Von Teasel. Wait, what? Noria? Is that true? That means all those rituals that backfired. Mel, I and it's not just those rituals, it's all the magic they've done for us here too. Noria sure does boast a lot about the magic, but at the same time doesn't really seem to follow through. Something weird always happens when I ask for a spell, like Devin at the lake party. You were abnormally chill even with all those people around. That's true, but I did ask for a spell to make friends. That's exactly what I mean. Nisha, let's calm down for a moment. You're not wrong, but perhaps there's an explanation. Have you forgotten Noria's relaxation spell? He fell asleep hard. Mel, that might ex that might explain the other day. Yeah, Ruth was pretty angry, but we acted like brats. Okay, yes, but I've never seen Ruth like that. Ramsey, this isn't good. I talked to the Melodines. Are those cookies you're working on? Cakes. They said they were possessed by their spirit. They called me a fool. Noria helped me talk to spirits too. Then they destroyed my studio. I got a dog. No, I wanted a hot date, but I love my dog. Empty. I think we should run slowly, sing away. Let's slowly sing away. We try to tiptoe away, but before you can even take three steps, no. What? I'm just uh stretching. You look at Ramsey. He's lo he looks at you. This is it. This is the end. You nod to Ramsley to let him know it's been good times, but you know when your grand hears about this. It's not just your training that will come to an end. Did I really speak to those Madeleines? I don't know how to say that word. Try to hold it in, but... No, you didn't. It was me, Noria. And I admit to everything. Jean, I wanted to eat those Madeleines so bad, but you kept throwing them in the trash. And Mel? Yeah. Um, uh, Avon Elset. And what I did wasn't right at all. I used Coven Politan to release my frustrations with my family and make fun of the witches. I never thought of the consequences of my actions. And more recently, when you asked me to help you, I could tell how badly you wanted to get your work done. But I pushed it too far. Nisha? Mm-hmm. I never talked to spirits successfully. That was supposed to be in the next chunk of training before I got here. Ruth? Yes, Noria? I slipped something extra into your spells. Don't ask me what, which I know sounds bad, but you seem like you need an extra push. Devin? Kind of the same with you, except I use the runes. Not really my specialty, but desperate times calls for desperate measures, or so I thought. Jonas? What? No, you're just kind of easy to mess with, so. For real? For real. This is my first time having to use witchcraft to help folks out. I make the spells when I feel like the magic is never enough. So I tried energy readings, incantations, or extra ingredients. I just want to do my own thing. I want everyone to think I was great. I just want to do my own thing. This means I tend to make shortcuts when helping others. Not the best way to help evil or do magic. Even this full moon ritual is a poly. The full moon is a very powerful way to amplify magic. I was hoping to use it to fix everyone's problem tonight so I could get out of here, but it looks like I've actually done the opposite. Magic isn't supposed to be self-serving or for proving yourself or using people. It's about energy and intention. My job as a witch is to help our energies work together and strengthen our intention. That's the only way to accomplish things we can't do alone. That means my energy, your energy, and our, I mean, your community's energy, are supposed, are supposed to work together to put on the best Harvest Festival Flora, Flora has ever seen. But I've done the opposite as a witch. Maybe my family is right. Maybe I really am. That's enough. Okay. Your magic did get out of hand, but how many of us asked for your magic expecting it to solve our problems immediately? We're asking Noria to do even more than we originally asked. Everyone remained silent. 
I don't say this to excuse Noria's actions. However, Noria is correct in that magic is all about energy and attention. We never intended to make the magic work instead of facing our problems as a community. We just use the magic to cover up and hide from our problems. Whether we want to admit that or not, that's why the last witch left too. That's why Flora is the way it is today. I won't keep repeating that mistake. If we're going to start being more honest with each other, there's something I need to say. This is my last term as mayor. After this, I intend to travel all over the world. It's a dream I've had for a while. I'm not getting any younger, so... Grant, that's... that's great. Nisha, I should have said this ages ago and kept saying it, but I'm proud of you. I have to ruin the mood, but who will be the mayor? No, I think you'd be an excellent candidate for the mayor. I'd be happy to endorse you. Um, wow, that means so much for you to say that. Um, can I think it over? Of course. Demon turns Anisha. I don't want to perform at the festival. I'd rather work together with local musicians, bring the community in more, you know? Wow, really? That sounds like a great idea. I'm sure Grand Amel would be happy to help. I thought you'd be disappointed. I mean, I would never be disappointed. You're my best friend. I'm so sorry I made you feel that way. I was just so worried about the festival. You know that special talent you have for reaching into people's souls and tearing them out? Um, yeah. Well, your music also can reach into people's souls and heal them. In fact, you just gave me an idea. What if I put together a community art project for the festival too? That sounds amazing. Let's bring this community together. Mel's right. I'm too focused on the Medellines, but I want to get them right, so please have patience. I know I, I get tunnel vision and push myself too hard. We all want this festival to succeed, but can we consider the festival a success if we burn ourselves out? Ruth is right. We need to... Did I say white? I don't know. Ruth is right. We need to approach this festival as a community. Since everyone's making big confessions, I feel like I have one to make too. But, um, um, I don't know if I have anything to confess, but I know how hard it is to be honest with people. But maybe if we all try together, it'll be easier for all of us. So, yeah. Does anyone have anything else they'd like to say? You look around see everyone chatting amongst themselves. Is it just you or do you feel the energy of Flora just shifted? Did you plan for this? Um... Stay silent. Don't worry, I know you didn't. But I think Margie, you're granted. Oh, what do you mean? I think it's getting pretty late. If there's one thing we could all use, it's a little rest. Don't you think? Everyone nods in agreement. How about we wrap this up now? Everyone nods in agreement again as they let out yawns. You all make your way home. Okay. Yeah, I didn't go how I expected to either. Do you think what Ruth said about Gran is right? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't put it past her either. Gran's teaching methods have always been a little different. But it looks like we're sticking around till the festival. For some reason, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Yeah, with everyone working together, maybe we could do something pretty cool. Well, we should do as Ruth says and get some rest. Okay. I mean, I guess we're on the right path. Got anything for me? Is it crystal time? One crow tree coming up. What did you find this time? Ooh. Lustine. This is one of my favorites. Such a nice shade of blue. Gran would like this one too. I'll have to show it to her when we see her again. For now though, I'll put it away for safekeeping. Alright. Dear Noria, I think I'm ready to take the first steps towards leaving Flora. But I won't lie, the idea of leaving makes me nervous. I wish there was some way to take Flora with me wherever I go. Are there incense or anything that could help? Sincerely, Ruth. Cross, uh, pinkish, magenta, and that one. Okay, cool. Dear Noria, I am a sad grump who needs to be kinder to myself. I can't keep letting mean people get to me. What? Do you have a charm for that? Best regards, Jean. Cross. Very pink. Okay. Noria, I think I figured it. Figured it the music for the festival. Figured out the wait. I think I figured it. Figured out the music for the festival, but I still have to perform it. I think the piece is really good. I just can't imagine myself playing with confidence. Maybe some incense to help me summon up courage could help. Star, blue, 
each. Okay. Let's just get the garden shit out the way. Do they have water this? I don't Yeah, I didn't water something, I think. Okay. to like grow more like if we need it so maybe I don't know y'all I don't be paying attention uh home because we need to make this shit okay orders all right let's get Ruth done all right she wants a cross gotcha wait she wants that incense, okay. What's that bullshit, okay. Alright. Well, definitely lavender. Uranium, yes. And the yarrow. Excuse me. Keep crafting. Alright, he wants a charm. So, recipe for charm. This is the bag shit. Okay. So, lavender. Hollyhock. crafting because we have Devin to do I believe or he wants an instant and just yep the bullshit all right and that's not gonna be Yarrow wait yeah it is yes it is <laughs> geranium okay Wonder when we're ever gonna need like other shit to do. Like to make. Alright, finish. Alright, village. Talk to Devon. You arrive at the studio, you don't hear any music coming from the inside. So. Wonder if Devon is actually in here. You open the door and see Devon sitting. Excuse me, by the window. Don't worry, you're here. Devon runs over to you. Do you have it? Do you have it? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, what does he need? Yes, this looks perfect. So you got a song written then? Yeah, I do. After all the community talk at the full moon ritual, I thought talking to some local musicians would help. So Mo introduced me to some of them. <coughs> After I finished speaking with them, I sat down and just wrote and wrote and wrote and things finally clicked. Yeah, I'm sharing it with Mel and Ruth today. I wanted you to be the first one to hear it. Really? Mm-hmm. Even with everything that's happened, I could write this song because of you. But uh, no more runes, okay? Yeah, yeah. If I start to panic, I just want to figure out how to work through it. And not force my way through it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get it. So, you want to hear it? Of course. Show me your masterpiece. Well, I don't know if it's a masterpiece, but I'm pretty proud of it. Evan takes a seat and brings out their guitar. As I do, suddenly you feel transported somewhere else. Sitting around a fire with old friends, a bright sunshine filled garden. You could taste something savory. Perhaps it's stew. You realize these are all the places and things of comfort. There's a brightness to it. A sense of optimism. Yuck. Even 
With long, hard days ahead, there will always be something good on the other side. As the chorus swells, you get a feeling of reassurance that all your work will pay off. Somehow, everything seems possible. Everyone will work together, and that collective energy will ensure the Harvest Festival's success. They won't even need a witch's blessing, and somehow, you feel like that's exactly how it should be. Devin's song comes to an end. I take a deep breath. So, what do you think? Was that some sort of spell? That was amazing. It felt like I was bewitched or something. I don't understand it. Wow, um, it was just a normal song. Why did that piece of music affect you so much? I wonder, I wonder if your music has such a strong effect because, well, because we're friends. Perhaps the strength of our bond amplified the power of the song. You see Devin turn bright red. Now I'm the speechless one. But of course, there's still the matter of playing for Ruth and Mel. That's the real reason I asked for the spell. When do you have to play for them? I'll probably head over a little after you leave. You know Devin asked you not to use runes anymore, but you still feel compelled to help them further. Devin said they wanted something that would help them work through their fear. Perhaps there's more you can do. Devin, have you ever heard of a countdown meditation? I don't want to risk the confidence spell with any other magic. It's not really magic. It is one of the techniques which is used to quiet their mind before performing magic. I don't see why a non-witch couldn't use it too, especially before something like a musical performance. Of course, we only have to try it if you want. Devin looks apprehensive. You can't blame them either. How much experience do you have with this? No, honestly, it's one of those things I probably need to practice more. I know the basic principles. But I'm not always successful in pulling it off, but I think it'll help the I think I'll help the effectiveness of the confidence and sense, and increase your confidence in general without the spell. Hmm. Let's try it then. Maybe this is this is the kind of technique I've been looking for. All right, let's get started then. You take the confidence and sense and light them. You take a seat across from Devin. Let's close our eyes. We're going to count down from 10. For each number, we'll focus on something. I usually focus on colors. There are currently 10 different colors in my garden, so we can work with those. So what am I doing? I'm going to number, I'm going to say a number and a color, and I want you to focus on that. The idea is to force your brain to focus on something other than your anxiety. Okay, let's start. 10, a red rose. Devin takes a deep breath. You can tell they're uncomfortable, but you're glad they're trying. Nine. Maybe this will work. The orange calendula. Eight. Yellow yarrow. I take another deep breath. This one is more noticeably deeper and longer than their initial one. <coughs> you know, excuse me. You notice your breath is also deeper and longer too. Seven. Green Rosemary. Devin's shoulders relax. You're impressed. You're impressed they made it this far. Your mind usually starts to wander around now. Six. Blue Pea Flower. Devin takes another deep breath. Five. Pink Hollyhock. You notice their knees relax. They fall a little closer to the ground. Four. Purple Lavender. Their head drops. Are they asleep? Three. Burgundy Geranium. Devin takes an even deeper long breath. No, they're not asleep. You could sense the focus on that breath. Two. White. I don't know how to say that. Almost there. One. Black Alluvium. Devin completely relaxes and takes another long, deep breath. You allow them to sit there for an extra moment. You're impressed by how well they've done, though you really won't know until they reopen their eyes. Devin, open your eyes. Evan raises his head and slowly opens their eyes. The panic and sense of unease that was there before is gone. Are you sure that wasn't magic? I feel so much calmer now. Calmer, but not out of it. Or, like, sleepy. Like, I feel like I can do things. Like, I want to do things. This is weird. It's probably part of the meditation and part of the incense. Wow. I think... I think I'm ready to play for Ruth and Mel. That's great. Do you want me to go with you? Actually, I think I'll go on my own. I think I got this confidence this time. It's all thanks to you. Remember, witchcraft is a meddling of energy, so it's not just mine. I guess you're right. Sometimes I wish I had something to carry with me all the time. Like something to remind me of the power of my energy. Something to carry? Hmm. Oh, is that silly? No, no, not at all. Sorry, I was just a little lost in thought is all. I should get going. I don't want to keep Mel and Ruth waiting. Thanks again for all your help, Noria. Of course, anytime. Devin wants something they could always carry. What about the locket at Jimena's store? Maybe I could craft something out of that. 
Maybe I can haggle down the price too. She let's see. How do I haggle down the price? You walk up to Jean's cafe. Mmm, Jean's baking something super yummy. You walk into the cafe and you notice there's only one customer. You can't tell who they are behind the newspaper they're reading. Hey Jean, Nora, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet all your customers? I brought your spell. What was he wanting? Release charm. Pause. What is this? The release charm you asked for. I didn't ask for that. But I got a letter from you. Don't tell me he's refusing a spell again. You thought you were that. You thought that was the past. I never sent the letter. You hear the rustling of the newspaper. You look over at the other customer. You see them wearing oversized sunglasses and a hat. Maybe they have a mustache too. But when you make eye contact, they quickly pull the newspaper back up. Eavesdropper? But the letter had your name on it. I told you I never wrote the letter. Maybe you wrote it in your sleep? I do not write in my sleep. I know. You have a twin. I do not have a twin. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to... The person reading the newspaper clears her throat. You and Jean look over at them. I think I have an explanation. The customer drops her newspaper and removes her hat and sunglasses and mustache. I ordered the spell, Jean. Well... You should be home. You're so sick. You didn't realize that customer was your wife? He's been too wrapped up in baking Madeline to notice these days. Just go and look in the trash. You walk over to the trash can. It's filled to the brim with Madeline's. They're all failures. And how would you know? Did you let anyone try them? All of these Madeline's are failures. But they smell so good. And they look to bake to a perfect light gold. I do not serve failure at this cafe. Jean and Mel continue to quarrel, but you can't take your eyes off the trash can. You could feel the Madeline's raining, radiating heat. These Madeline's are fresh. Your mouth begins to water. There doesn't seem to be anything else in the trash can, so really, it's just a bin full of fresh, perfectly baked Madeline's. That means you could totally... All because one critic said critic again? Who cares about critics when there's a whole bunch of Madeline's in front of you? Fuck it, eat it. Yes, Noria, there's no need to hold back now. Just reach your hand out. Noria, what are you doing? I, um, uh, um, they were calling me. I know that's a lie. But they were a thousand little voices. Eat me, eat me. Those voices were in your stomach. You know what? Mel's right. This tyranny ends today. Um, I never said anything about the time. You take your hand and shove it into the trash bin of Madeline's. Take a fistful. <coughs> take a, take a couple. You lock eyes with Jean as you shove a Madeline into your mouth, and then another, and then another. You just, you just ate some, what, does that bother you? Next thing you know, Mel shoves her hand into the trash bin of Madeline's. She also takes a couple of Madeline's and locks eyes with Jean. She shoves a Madeline into her mouth, and then another one, and then another one. You both just, you both just ate. You try to keep your eyes locked on Jean, but, but, this buttery, butterly flavor, the slight fluffy texture. Like a delicate cloud of This is pure blish. Blish. Blish, y'all, blish. Bliss. Jean, these are truly you see Jean's expression change from horror to Jean. Let me make some tea. <laughs> Jean runs off to the kitchen and brings a tea tray. Let me grab a platter of the let me grab a platter for the Madeleines. Oh grabs a platter, puts some Madeleines on it, and brings it back to the table. Jean, you simply must serve these at the festival. Though ideally not from a trash bin. How could you ever think these were bad? Jean and Mel look at each other. There was a critic. Critic. Y'all. Mm -hmm. There was a critic who came to the cafe. I didn't know he was coming until a few hours before, so I rushed and baked some Madeleines along with a few other things. But while rushing to get everything, I forgot about the Madeleines and let them bake too long. The next day, he said my dry Madeleines revolted him in his review. I see, but that's the only negative review Jean's Cafe has ever gotten, isn't that right? Wow, really? That's impressive. Exactly. That's why I, I ordered the release charm. You ordered that spell that explains the weird letter. Mel, I just want you to move on from that one single critic who caught you on the wrong day. Honestly, he probably knew that when he wrote that review. When I had my issues in the city, you had the idea to move out here so I could be happy. 
so I could get away from all the people who didn't think I was capable. I realized how much of a sacrifice that was for you. This charm is my way of telling you not to let those kinds of people get you down. You're so talented, Jean. It's not worth spending your time on people who think otherwise. Thank you. Is Jean, is Jean smiling? I should start preparing the ingredients for the batter. That way we can make it a day or so ahead, then bake all the madeleines a day of. We can serve local tea blends along with them. Yes, I think that's an excellent idea. Let me write that down on my to-do list. I have a meeting with the vendors coming up, so I can mention it to them. It won't be too much work. Not at all. Mel raises her cup of tea. The festival. To the festival. To the festival. Gina and Mel chug the rest of their tea. Let's do this. Yes. Suddenly, Gina and Mel take off, leaving you at the table, but you overhear them talking. You know, maybe you should consider writing that cookbook you've been thinking about after the festival. Keep all my recipes in my head. He memorizes all his recipes, but maybe writing them down would be good. Also, please go home and rest. Fine. Hey, doesn't Jimena's shop have an old journal? I bet Jean could use that. And I could enchant it for him, too. I wonder if that would be a good idea. Who else? Yeah, Ruth. You walk up to Ruth's home after the full moon ritual. You wonder what state she'll be in. You knock on the door. Maria, how good to see you. Are you here to deliver my spell? Yep. You hand the memory incense to Ruth. Yes, these should help. What are you trying to do? You know what I mentioned at the full moon ritual? You not being the mayor and going traveling? Yes. Do you intend to do that? Or you're not? No, I am, but as much as the idea of exploring the world excites me, I've never really left Flora, so the idea also terrifies me. I see. Uh, I feel that. I pressure yourself to go when you know you can be comfortable right here. Yeah, I think I think that's precisely it. I am comfortable in Flora, even with my desire to leave. It's strange. I wish I could just take it with me wherever I go. Is that what the memory spell is for? Mm-hmm. Before I use the incense, I thought of taking a walk. Would you care to join me? Hmm. Walk sounds nice. Let's head out then. You and Ruth head out and walk around Flora. First, you come to the lake. I have many happy memories with my daughter and Nisha here. Both of them are so similar. They loved running and playing in the water and finding small little critters. I still listen to the crickets and the frogs when I come here. The sounds take me right back to their childhood. I wish I could take this lake with me wherever I go. Hmm. Hmm. Ruth just might have given you an idea. Yes, yes, you gave her the memory incense, which she can burn once she gets home, but what if you have another tool to keep to help keep her... Here is some memories close, Ruth. Yes, Noria. What if I told you I have a tool you could potentially use to take the lake with you? Is this some experimental magic? No, not at all. I've used it before, and it doesn't require magic at all. It might even improve your ability to use the memory incense. But it's not magic? No, it's more of a sensory tool to help you focus on... To help you focus and remember details. Interesting. What does it entail? Well, you're already an avid walker, so you might already be doing some of these things. The gist of it is being very mindful of your surroundings. When I find myself in a place I want to remember, I use my senses to create a sort of snapshot. You could do this by focusing on one sense at a time. Does that make sense to you? You're right, it is something. I've did somewhat done on my walks before. I've never actively tried using my senses to create memories, but I think I'd be willing to try. Great. How about on this walk we do some practicing? Sounds like a good idea. Since we're already at the lake, let's try focusing on one of our senses here. Let's start with... Sight. So I focus on what I see? Yep. Try focusing on colors, textures, how the sun reflects, soft things, etc. Okay. Ruth takes a deep breath. You see her looking around. Some, sometimes things catch her eye and you can tell she's trying to focus hard on them. Even though the lake looks still, it really isn't. Everything is moving, whether it's with the breeze or light. This is a lot to take in. Yeah, it can be, but don't worry about trying to hold on to everything just yet. I find it usually takes a few sessions to complete a snapshot. That makes sense. I think I'd like to make our way back, make our way to the forest next. You and Ruth walk to the forest. I always come here when I feel like hiding from the world. I used to be afraid of these woods. When I was a little girl, I played hide and seek at night with my friends. I lost my way while looking or a hiding place, and suddenly all the trees look like monsters. Fortunately, my screams let my friends find me. That's awful. It was at the time, but then I became determined to know these woods. And now we're good friends. Ready to practice one of the senses? Sure. How about... Mel. Yeah, that, so that sounds good. 
Ruth closes her eyes and inhales. I can smell the earthiness of the rotting wood and soil. It also smells so clear. Not a smell of death, but life and renewal. That was very good. I think you're getting the hang of this. Thank you. I think this is a good exercise and also very relaxing. Sort of like meditation. Yeah, it is. I think I know where I'd like to go next. My secret spot. Whoa, I get to see Ruth's secret spot. Only a few people know about it. Follow me. Ruth takes off on a brisk walk through the woods. You can hardly keep up. You notice the elevation is rising now. You know why Ruth is such in great shape. How much further? You see, you huff and puff your way up. Ruth seems fine. You come to a sudden clearing. We're here. Wow. After you catch your breath, you look out. You see all the floor from here and more. How far up did we just walk? Isn't it wonderful? This isn't my secret spot, if I'm completely honest. Our previous witch showed it to me. I want to try focusing on one of my senses up here. I think that's a great idea. How about you try... Mm, sight, touch, sound. Okay. Ruth closes her eyes. Everything sounds so far off. There's a peacefulness to it, though. As if everything is just the way it's meant to be. I wish I could stay here forever, but I know I can't. I know I have to leave, even though I'll be back. When I return from my travels, this is the first spot I'll visit. Ruth turns around and looks at you. Thank you for coming up here with me, Noria. Of course. This has been the best workout I've ever had in a long time. Fortunately, going downhills is much easier. Come on, let's go. You and Ruth make your way back down the mountain and t take her home. I think I'll have to practice the sensory technique more later. This might sound strange considering I just asked you for a way to remember Flora, but I wish I had something to help me cleanse the space too. Like, as a final way of letting go and preparing myself to move on. Does that make sense? Of course. Kind of like taking what you want and then moving on? Yes, I think that's exactly it. Of course, I'm not asking for anything extra. These memory incense should really help. Well, I think it's back. Well, I think it's back to the festival preparations. I've been away far too long already. I'll be on my way then too. Bye. Something to help you say goodbye and move on, but in a good way. Maybe a besom could help with that. They're for sweeping away energies to make space for new ones. I'm pretty sure I saw a small broom at Jamina's I could use. I wonder if that would be a good idea. How do I actually get stuff? How do I get money? You have something on me? Is it crystal time? One girl treat coming up. Oh, wait, didn't I already give you a treat? Sneaky bird. You can't film it, but... Uh, whatever. Let's end the day. Alright, y'all. Well, that's all we're playing for today. Um, I have other stuff to do. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you later.